Now, accidents claim more lives than HIV AIDS. Make it mandatory for all buses to have seatbelts. That is the latest appeal coming from the Welfare Secretary of the Circle New Plan Station, Kasim Al Hassan. His comments come in the wake of Joy News' Arrive Alive campaign that seeks to record the fairest casualties possible in road accidents this year and for many to come. The country lost over 2,284 citizens to motor accidents in 2019 alone. Kasim Al Hassan believes. It is time the Ministry for Roads and Highways took new steps to correct the canker. PSCA Nanaya Safo has more in the following report. It comes down to a matter of seconds when two vehicles collide. The body, originally in a state of rest, is thrust forward by the sudden shock. A dependable seat belt is often overlooked, yet last line of defense holding passengers stable amidst the chaos. Mothers, children, fathers, old and vulnerable, who are often not strapped in, end up being propelled through the front or side windows. This often results in death. According to Ghana's Road Traffic Act, enacted in 2004, a person of age 18 years and above who drives a motor vehicle or sits in the front seat or behind in the rear seat without a seat belt commits a criminal offence liable to six months in prison. Also, it is mandatory for persons between the age of 5 and 18 to have seat belt buckled on when driving or in a vehicle at all times. Unfortunately, for most parts of Accra, with Joy News visited, the situation is far from being implemented. Road accidents took 2,284 lives in 2019, according to the Motor Traffic and Transport Department, MTTD. Commercial vehicles stopped death rates with close to 930 fatalities recorded. Virtually all trotters have no seat belt to protect passengers. I spoke to some of the drivers in Accra on this reality. For welfare secretary of the Circle New Plan Station, Kasim Al Hassan, seat belt laws need to be enforced without fear or favor. My recommendation is that. Uh, uh, the Minister of Road and uh, uh, Transport to coordinate with our authority, if I talk about authority, like uh, National Departure and then other protoy and uh, other sister station. So they need to be meeting to discuss the way forward. Because accident is one of the things that takes our life than even is and wherever. It should be mandatory for every bus that carry a human being must have a seatbelt. Because when you enter plane, every seat has a seatbelt. But why not a, 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 a transport on the road? Because it, it's all transport. He called on Ghanaians to avoid politicizing their own safety on the roads. The politics in Ghana here, every policy that government is coming to bring, but you, if you sit down and look at the policy, it is good. But the interest, the personal interest, then we start to lambast the government. And I want to appeal to Ghanaians. We, we, we vote for a government to implement a policy that will help the country. But when government is trying to implement some policy and we are saying any abrain a hunchy and it, so how can we go forward? We can go forward as a country. So let's all help the government and see to it that the writing is done. In the meanwhile, Joy News encourages citizens and passengers alike to speak up on road safety measures, particularly seat belts in the country. Buckle up, arrive alive. Very good call there. Buckle up, arrive alive.